Hi Taurus, welcome to your mid-month readings. As always, keep in mind that this is only a general reading. Always take what it feels right and with what does resonate within your own life experiences during this time. If you would like to have a personal reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below. For the month of September, as usual, I have a special sales offer available, which is inspired in this Virgo theme season we have been on, and it's called Wipe It Clean. If you would like to know more details about that special offer or any other of my services, again, just email me. Or if you would like to donate and support my channel, you can also do so by following the PayPal link, which is also down below. So, Taurus, I do feel like during this mid-September, some of you are really looking for clarification. You really want to understand something that has been you know i feel like some of you want to know the truth about something that has been hard to get it's like you have been in a long quest to find out a particular you know detail or fact it's like it has been this long you know time to get you to experience and access the type of information that you're about to so basically for some of you Taurus that have been again looking out to find the truth about something to have this communication uh happening here with someone based on truth to clarify misunderstandings to uh make the questions that you need to make or to be questioned the way someone needs to question you. This is a time where all of that is like all cards on the table and let's be open about it all. Like you're getting like, this might be a moment where you're very open to communicate and so are others after a period where that has not been the case because you have here the hermit. So there has been some isolation, some withholding, right of your own self your presence your words your energy has been more pulled away protected disconnected perhaps to recharge and figure out what you needed to and this part of you that has been more away it's coming back with information with truth with rightful knowing with discernment in place, judgment in place, just knowing what to say and what not to say. Just knowing how something is, the facts, the reality. It's like crystal clear type of energy. And I also feel like some of you have been trying to cleanse your own mental space you have been trying to clear out negative thoughts and negative patterns and negative limitations on your own that have kept you from being emotionally available mentally available spiritually available to new options new opportunities new ways more based on truth again to handle and behave I keep getting like there's something here that has not been handled, that has not been discussed, that has not been decided. And it's like this long-term suspense that has been going on for some of you, Taurus. And now it's like the time to sign the deal, right? It's the time to make the decision, to make the cut, to separate or to make the decision to engage. So there's also this feeling of either you decide to engage with something or someone now that you know, or now that you're getting very close to know what you want. It's like now you make the decision to engage with a person, with a decision, with a project, with something, or you make the cut, the final cut to disengage. What it feels here is that there's that feeling of it's yes or no. It's black or white. There is no, I keep getting like there's no middle ground with whatever this is for you during this mid-September. It's like it won't be something that could be, that can be, you know, um, managed in a way uh, that it's not assertive. 
definitive, you know, it's like either yes or no. And I feel like some of, some of you, someone is waiting on an answer um, from your side. Someone is waiting for you to decide what you want. And if it's not you that have been leaving this person waiting, it could be the other way. It could be that you're waiting on someone's answer, someone to make up their mind if they want or not to be with you, if they want to separate, if they want to keep working on a relationship, if they want to keep you as a friend, if they want to keep you, um, if this is a work situation, if they want to keep you there, working for them, if they're going to renew your contract or not, right? So there's a lot of like not knowing the place, right? Not knowing your place, not knowing what you count on that is changing from a, a moment of not knowing what you're counting on to a moment where you know because the facts are coming out because the awareness, right? The truth, this, this third eye, you know, uh, expanded outlook knows before you do and is, is telling you is giving you this roundabout effect where it's seeing and then telling you so you're also very it's very hard for you to not notice something during this period of time your your senses are very sharp you're able to see to hear to sense something before it's even happening. You can see a problem from a mile or you can see from a mile away or you can see an opportunity for from a mile away. You can see someone that is coming from a good heart immediately, even before they talk to you, or you can see someone that has not that, that does not have the best intentions. You can see right before it happens. And this state of um like almost like this precognitive function I think is so like alert to something coming it's like you know the feeling when some people know that the storm is going to happen because they notice signs and they feel things in the atmosphere you know when a storm is coming or you know when there it's going to rain or you know when a person is really close and I keep getting like this feelings they're very like supercharged and intense with some of you Taurus you just know that something is coming so if you do if you have those uh, feelings and sensations and you're experiencing that type of energy I feel like don't be so disturbed by it because I keep getting like even if and you have here the page of swords and some of you are dealing with air signs you're dealing with uh, Gemini's, Libra's, or uh, Aquarius influences, and it could be that uh, they're this person or people dynamic you're dealing with their expression. It's not. Um, it's not the style of expressing and communicating that leaves you feeling the best because it can be a little bit more it felt as more aggressive more blunt more cold more calculated more combative than your own someone here might be looking for a little bit of a fight when it comes particularly if you're having issues with someone when it comes to facts and truth and who's right who's wrong and all of that there can be intense debates happening as well here in uh, your mid-month period before you get to a point of understanding of what you're going to do with this so it's like if this is about people you're dealing with they are coming across with a little bit of um like this combative this combative energy and you might just not and this combative energy might create this this the again disturbances you have taken a lot of time to come back to a point where you're ready to talk or where you're ready to sit down and say the things you need to say or ready to even listen and now you're ready and this person or energy is acting upon a way that is like super challenging to you like a test if you will remain in the hermit right the composure 
you will not lose the composure you will not lose sight of what the truth is you will not lose sight of what's the right thing for you to do there's also the feeling here of it's about the right thing for you to do taurus more than anything they can say all they want they can ask all they want they can apologize all they want it doesn't matter as long as it is aligning with what's the best for you what's truthfully the best for you because there's i also feel like some of you taurus again there's these two sides of the situation where there's what's the best for you in terms of justice in terms of what's fair for you to receive and then there's you know what's forgivable what's acceptable even though it might not put you in the best place that you should be so some of you also that this is about an apology that this is about someone apologizing or you apologizing to them and things like that it could just be that sometimes an apology is great is it can be very liberating but it does not mean that we have to keep dealing with this person or we have to keep you know them close or we have to keep them you know in the same way as we did before so it could be that some of you are also in a tough time where you might get to find the you know clarity and the apology and the coming forward with the truth as you wanted but the question remains if there's still space or not for this person or situation in which you have been disconnected from if there's a still if there's still a place for them in your life so i hope you have a great mid-month thank you so much for all of you that have been liking sharing subscribing commenting and donating to my channel i really appreciate it thank you so much hopefully we'll see each other soon